Welcome to May's NIFA Member Spotlight. I am joined today by Shannon Wong, Account Manager at Great American Insurance Group. Thanks for joining me, Shannon. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for having me. No, I'm glad to meet you. I, I, I think I'm, we've probably run at each other at a previous oh, yeah. event, but yeah. uh, you know how that goes. You yeah. sit there. It's like trying to remember everyone. So, um, yeah. You know, it's it's uh, great to have you on here, and we're going to be talking today about the newly formed NIFA subcommittee, or I guess committee, um, yes. the DEI committee. So um, before we jump into that, do you mind just kind of introducing yourself in Great American Insurance? Absolutely. So my name um, is Shannon Wong. I'm an account manager at Great American Insurance. Um, Great American Insurance is a pretty well-known insurance company. We've been around for 150 years, so we have a long history of, of excellence and, and providing insurance in a lot of niche markets. And the one that I'm in in particular is specialty equipment, um, where we provide uh, equipment protection program, if I can spit that out, for our, um, for our clients and across the United States and Canada. So we really help them um, provide a great service to their customers that also builds profitability for them as well. Perfect. Thank you for that. And you guys, are you in Cincinnati? I am actually, yes, I'm located in Cincinnati, um, which is our headquarters. So we have offices all over the country, really all over the world, but um, our other offices out in Seattle. Yeah, and that's quite the, quite the campus you have up there too. It's beautiful. A little bit to get to from the airport, but it's, but it's, worth, the, it's worth the drive. <laughs> it is. It's it's a beautiful place and a beautiful building um, right in downtown Cincinnati. So it's nice to be back. Um, when I started with Great American, uh, we were like at the end of COVID. So I was sitting okay. in the office a little bit by myself. Um, so now it's nice to have everybody back in the office and some more people in downtown Cincinnati. So it's good. Sure. Absolutely. So I want to um, shift our focus to the newly formed DEI committee mm -hmm. uh, uh, at NIFA. Yeah. Um, you chair that you chair that committee um, and just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on, you know, uh, what's the what's the goal or mission of the committee, um, mm -hmm. you know, the membership and then kind of initiatives that you have, Shannon, for the year. Yeah, so we um, the committee started last year. Um, we are already up to 13 members and growing. So if there's anyone out there that is interested in becoming a member, we have limitless opportunities there. Um, we're not limiting the amount of people that, that are on the committee. Um, so we really got our start with a, about 10 or so people. Um, and what we're looking to do, our mission is to provide really resources for our members, for NIFA members. Because what we realize is that everyone, every company is on a different place in their journey as far as diversity, equity, and inclusion is concerned. And so we're, we're curating resources right now. That's really where we're starting. Um, we did introduce ourselves in the, um, or at the conference in, in California there in, um, was that March or April already? It's time's flying. It's going by so quick. <laughs> so we did that there uh, with that eight wonderful HR panel that we had where we had a lot of really great discussions um, and so we picked up actually a couple of members from that as well because people are very interested. Um, and so again, we're kind of back to our mission. We're curating some uh, materials right now. We actually have a meeting next week to even dive more into that. We have a plan to do that. And then we hope to in the future incorporate more webinars and possibly some in-person um, speaking, you know, some of the conferences and things like that. That's the long-term plan. We're also, um, Kind of working in conjunction with our, our partnering a little bit with the Black Equipment Finance Network as well. So we have a couple of their members that are crossing over to help us out too. Excellent. Um, no, that's 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 fantastic. Um, you know, George and Laverne doing a great job um, yeah. firing up uh, Beefin. Yes. Um, yes. I, I'm like, can we just say it's the Black Equipment Finance Network? So Beefin just kind of throws me over where I'm trying to. I, I think I mess up that. <laughs> you know. The acronym there. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned I actually had to look it up just to make sure that I had the correct name um, because I've heard Beefin and I'm like, well, I think this is what that represents, but let me just double check. I don't want to say the name correctly. <laughs> uh, no, that's um, so. How has it been uh, perceived? Um, you know, being I guess it started last year, but probably hasn't been a full calendar year um, yeah. with the initiative. 
Yeah, we're really, I feel like we're really getting a good start now. We had a great meeting among some members at the um, conference a couple of months ago, which we really, really started to dig down deep into a more uh, solid plan as far as moving forward with actionable items. And we're working through those now. And, and so I'm really excited for the meeting next week because then we'll have, you know, pretty much the full committee there. Um, okay dividing up some of the the tasks that we have set forth and really getting some great ideas. And that's really one of the reasons why we encourage as much membership as we can have, because, you know, obviously more ideas, we're just, we're just going to come out with better sure. material for the members and, and really a better benefit to them as well. Sure. I mean, diversity of thought. I mean, that's right. kind of the whole premise here, right? Exactly. Um, exactly. And then as far as like individuals who are interested in joining, um, does it matter what role they play in an organization? No, no, not at all. Um, like I'm an account manager. There's another account manager for my team that's on the committee as well. So you can kind of double up if you want to, if you have everybody who's interested, we'll, we'll, you know, we don't have to have representation um, limited within companies either. And your role within your own organization, um, you know, doesn't um, have an impact on on your ability to be a member. Sure. And then if people are interested, do they just reach directly out to you or is there a place on NEFA's website as well? Where they, can... they can reach out to me. Um, there was right. a place on the website at one point. I, I was actually looking for it today. Um, so if you can't find that, you can certainly reach directly out to me. Folks have done that too. And I'll, I'll get you set up and get you to uh, NEFA to add you to our list. Okay. Excellent there. So thank you for describing the committee and kind of what you guys are going to be up to in 2023 and beyond. Um, going to shift a little bit to just NIFA in general. So you've been on the industry for a little under three years, I'm assuming, based yes. on your time frame yeah. that you mentioned. Um, what do you see the value of what NIFA kind of brings to Great American Insurance? NIFA was one of the first, it was the first industry event that I attended was an EFA conference in Charlotte a couple of years ago. And it's really just a great introduction to the industry itself, to the different companies within the industry, and also to, to NEFA and what they're doing with their own members. Um, one of the great things is the ability to get knowledge and also to network within the industry. And I will say NEFA's um, we mentioned before, kind of a close-knit group. So it's a great opportunity to sort of build some friendships as well. And that was a really unique event um, coming out of, I mean, I guess coming out of and theoretically still in, I guess it depends on where you live uh, right. in the country, right? But um, seeing those people for like the first time in well over 12 months, you're probably just like, wow, these people are super friendly. I thought there was a mask thing. There's no mask things. There's these wristbands, right. but everyone, no one's wearing them. <laughs> right. It was a, such a friendly, yes, it was exactly that. It was very friendly, very open. And it still continues to be that way too. I, I feel like whenever you attend a, a NIFA event and I've been to all of the conferences since Charlotte. So I think there've been three or four since then. And then um, one regional event. And just whenever you show up, everybody's very welcoming. It, it's kind of like a little class reunion every time. People are very excited to see one another. And, and like I said, a lot of friendships, I think, have been built. No, that's awesome. And then I guess, so you've kind of seen that firsthand uh, over the last two plus years. Um, you know, why should a member company or I guess an organization who's not a NIFA member consider joining the association? I think it's a great opportunity again to network within the industry to learn more about the industry. There's a lot of knowledge there. There's a lot of uh, and and what I do like is is it's not competitive in the sense that I feel like people will really share knowledge. They're not holding anything close to the vest. They're really sharing information. Um, so it's a great place to to build your business and to and you know increase your um, profile. You know to increase your net networking as well. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I really appreciate your time today, Shannon. Thank you for discussing the new DEI committee, yeah, uh, Great cool. America and uh, Great American. See, yes. like it's, <laughs> it's, it's typical. It, it's uh, very common. 
well, especially with the organization in Cedar Rapids, right? Um, they, they, they corrected me really early in my career when I had them as a customer that, no, we're Great America and we don't have a space between our name. I'm like, sorry, yeah. sorry, did not know. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. uh, but appreciate your time and look forward to seeing you at a, probably an upcoming NEFA regional event. Probably see if you're going to be in Texas. I'll see you there. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much, Shannon. Thank you have you. a good day. Have a great day. Okay, right. bye.